Hi everybody, it's Carla. It is Friday and I thought I would just kind of go through the teas that I've uh, accumulated and share with you what I'm drinking today. My uh, teacup is a big one. It's from the thrift store and it makes a double cup of tea. So I have one bag of chai that I got from, uh, it's called Berman's and I got it at Aldi's. And then I've got the other tea bag is a vanilla chai that uh, comes from Taviv, the same brand here, um, at Dollar Tree. So that's my cup of tea for this morning. And then I used as a divider one of these um, silverware little uh, drawer uh, dividers. And it holds quite a bit of tea, so you can see what I have here. One of my favorite uh, teas of all time is the, I think it's Twinings of London, and it's their Christmas tea. Uh, my son at Christmas also got me their uh, same brand. They've repackaged it and put black tea. It's the exact same tea, but it's in a different packaging, and it says black tea. Uh, this one I usually get at Ollie's, which is a discount um, oversupply, overstock store down here in the south. And that's where I get this red one, and my son uh, bought this one off Amazon. Uh, like I said, Taviv is carried at Dollar Tree. And my very favorite of their brands, or my two favorites, are the pomegranate and cherry and the peach and passion fruit. Those are both delicious. Um, I also have Perfect Peach from Bigelow. And here's the uh, Taviv vanilla chai. Um, I also, uh, my son will buy me or my husband will get me a variety pack from Celestial Seasonings. And this one um, has one left in it, but it is the uh, raspberry zinger, and that's delicious. Uh, Bigelow Mint Medley, delicious again. Celestial Seasonings Peppermint. Uh, Celestial Seasonings Sleepy Time. Honey Vanilla Chamomile and Chamomile. I'm not a big chamomile uh, tea drinker. I think years ago I read that if you drink it too much, it can cause stomach issues and I already have an ulcer. So I did. I very uh, rarely would ever use chamomile tea, but since it was a gift, I do keep it. And then uh, Aspara English Breakfast. I'm not sure where I got that from. Bigelow I Love Lemon. That is delicious, especially if you have a cold or... You're just kind of feeling a little under the weather that, because this one comes with vitamin C, so you get a little boost there with your cup of tea. Bigelow pomegranate uh, pizzazz. That's delicious. I've drank all of those except for this one, and I've kind of saved that. St. Dalfour from France organic uh, golden peach tea. That is delicious, too. I've only got three um, tea bags of that left. And then a Bigelow Sweet Dreams blend of chamomile and mint to calm and soothe. I really sleep very well, so I don't have to drink tea before bedtime. And then cozy chamomile. Um, some others that I've bought. This is carried at Walmart, Tetley British Blend. It's carried at my Walmart here in the south anyway, and that makes uh, a delicious tea. It's a little bit stronger, but it is very good. Um, and then I had bought a Tetley iced tea blend for the summertime. And um, down here in the south, everybody drinks sweet tea. But my husband's diabetic, and we control our sugar intake as much as we can. And I would rather uh, just make my tea uh, from my own bags and then add uh, Splenda to you know sweeten it up a little bit for us. This one I got at uh, what's called Bargain Hunt. I don't know if those are in the north, but they are down here in the south. And they have um, unique food items that maybe you don't see everywhere else. And this one is actually expertly blended in Ireland since 1901. It's called Berry's Tea, a gold blend. And again, this is a little bit stronger than I'm used to, but it's very, very good. My son bought me this for a uh, gift, Pure Leaf um, Iced black tea with peach and um, so that's for making iced tea and that'll be good to try in the hot weather. Here's another Taviv brand and I did take this back in the winter. I actually had the flu twice this past season and I did drink um, this green tea ginger. Very very good. It's delicious. 
this was also my son. He bought this at Big Lots. They were clearancing them out after uh, the fall and uh, Christmas time, and it's called Sweet Harvest Pumpkin. It's very, very good. He went on a little pumpkin uh, spree for me, got me a pumpkin cup, and just different things that were very nice. And then um, this was from Dollar Tree. I know it's not a tea, but it is a, a bag. Um, or, well, it's more like a, a hot chocolate bag that you would put into your drink. But it's just water, but it makes uh, spiced apple cider, and it's just a very delicious alternative to hot tea. Um, I buy some for my son when I see them. He's bought some for himself, and he spots some for me and because we really, really like this, and they don't always carry it. But, the, again, this was at Dollar Tree. And then this final drink, I haven't tried it yet. I drink, and uh, my husband does too, uh, we drink hot chocolate, and, of course, the old-fashioned with the big marshmallow melting in it. And, but at Christmas time, my son put this in my stocking makes two mugs of hot chocolate, and it's from Starbucks Peppermint Hot Cocoa. And I haven't tried that, and I've never tried hot chocolate that was uh, flavored with peppermint, so that will be a taste treat, see, for us here. But yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of how I organize my teas and what some of my favorite teas are. Um, I do drink coffee maybe two or three times a week, um, and it's just, uh, you know, tea is my is my favorite hot drink so I just wanted to share that with you and show you what I have and there's my cup steeping this morning so thank you all for watching and I hope you like this little video talk to y'all later bye